Welcome into the brand new Toyota CHR. Now we have done a review of this car before, you can see it over here. Our man Tim made his way over to Madrid to have a look at that car. So this week, instead of doubling up in the number of videos we have, we've decided to have a look at the infotainment system of the car itself. Now first thing I'm going to say is, this is the nicest looking dash that I've seen in the Toyota yet. So the first thing you have to do is hook up your phone. So what you do is you go into, I'm running off Samsung S6, I'm going into my Bluetooth, making sure it's turned on, which I know it is already. And now I'm currently scanning for devices. So I click this button here and we're gonna search for a device. Now the first thing it's gonna find hopefully is my phone, which is Mac Loves S6. Okay, click on that and it's now pairing and it's asked me for this. Does this pass key match the Bluetooth device? I'm gonna say yes it does and yes it does. Okay, so we're now paired. Now next thing we have to do is turn on the internet through the Bluetooth so it gets to the phone itself. Okay, so to hook up the internet, what you have to do is go to your phone, go into mobile, hotspot and tethering, click on Bluetooth tethering, and that means that this phone or this system will go online. Once you hit the fuel icon there, you're going to get a list of the nearest stations to you and the cheapest prices. So the nearest one to us here is 116 in Apple Green and it's all based on my current position. Either that you can order by brand as well. Well, if you're too lazy to have a look outside, just press this button here. You're going to find out that we're going to have highs of 10 degrees today, winds of 13 kilometers per hour and they're going southwards and nighttime tonight will be south southwest. Parking, where's the nearest parking spaces to the area and what's the cost per hour? They all come up here as well, that's great. If you're into Twitter, you can watch your Twitter feed online, the car itself. Don't know how safe that is, but yes, once again, it's clever. Aha, now this is one of my favourite things on it. You're able to listen to podcasts uh, from the interweb and things like that. The only problem with the system itself is it does not allow you to actually rewind or fast forward within each podcast. Now once again, you're gonna get this from any Google system within a car, provided you're able to get online with it as well. This will actually show you where your traffic is. This, for example, when we're near traffic, will show a distance and how close the traffic is. And of course, the colors on the map itself go red when you're going into traffic areas. It's pretty good, and once again, it's all because your online's connecting to, I think it's TomTom, Tom, and it's giving you live updates as to how the traffic is. You can stick in an air code, and it'll take you exactly where you want to be. Like any other system that you see, you're going to get your trip information. Uh, the best journey I've taken is 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres. And now overall I'm achieving about 9 litres per 100 kilometres in this car. So this is based on my best journey, which is obviously my current journey. We have AM, FM, AUGS, Bluetooth, OPO, which I still don't know what it is, etc, etc. Stick in your iPod and USBs. We have USB connectors down here. And then you get the usual stuff within settings. We're able to brighten the colors, lower the colors, change the navigation settings, change the phone settings, etc. that you see up here as well. Okay, so that's it. It's the brand new infotainment system in the Toyota CHR. Easy enough to use, not too bad. Pretty intuitive, gotta be happy enough with it. Now, if you want to subscribe to our channel, please do. The button's down here, I think it is. Uh, so press it, and of course, there's gonna be various videos showing up around here as well. See you again very soon.